Right, well, I'm Ruth Aylett. I work here at Harriet Watt in computer science and I've been researching artificial intelligence and robotics for a long, long, long time. Um, I'm a researcher at the moment in human-robot interaction and in what we call social robotics, which is putting robots into ordinary human environments, which is not as easy as you might think. So one of the things I notice is the what I call moral panic about robots. Robots are going to take our jobs, uh, robots are going to take over the world, robots are going to replace humanity, um, which all looks a bit odd if you're working with robots. And of course if you're interested in incorporating robots into human social environments it's rather important that you confront some of this because otherwise how will people accept them if they think they're going to take all their jobs and take over the world and replace humans? Yeah, so it's kind of very relevant to the kind of work I'm doing to try and get people to take a more realistic view of what robots are about, what they can do, what they can't do. So this is a dangerous topic because I think all moral panic is dangerous. And indeed the ideas that people are toying with are themselves very dangerous ideas. Yes, I mean, if a robot was going to take over the universe and make all humans slaves, that would be a bit dangerous. Um, if researchers in robotics were going to essentially set this up, that would be even more dangerous. So, you know, as a researcher, um, as a human being, as someone who's interested in producing new things, a technologist, it's very important to deal with these dangerous ideas. And I guess my idea is dangerous in the sense that it's always dangerous to try. It's wrongly controversial. Um, as I said, if robots were able to do all of those things, then people would be rightly terrified. My point is that they don't and aren't going to, and that the terror that people feel, or at least, let's not exaggerate, sometimes merely disquiet, um, is not necessarily very realistic. So that's really the aim of the show, is to have people coming out going, OK, now I understand about robots, and I can see they can do some very useful things too. The topic's really important if you're a researcher in the area. Um, nobody likes their research to be negatively hyped, you might say. Um, many people working in robotics kind of groan internally every time someone says robots will take over the world or replace humans. Um, we're well aware that people have expectations which are often based on public media, perhaps pieces in various bits of media by people who themselves are not very knowledgeable about robotics and overwhelmingly from film. Um, you should remember though film is fiction. Uh, the robots you see in film are fiction. <laughs> they are in fact nowhere near what we're actually doing. There's a company called Boston Dynamics who originally started off, they make robots, originally started off being robot researchers and then they got frustrated because it was so hard and they went right let's try doing robots in films. And then they found that you couldn't put real robots in films at all. This is why some robots in films have people inside them or are acted by people. And at that point they went, right, let's go away and do something else for a while to try and develop robot capabilities. Because even in film, where you can go cut when the robot misbehaves, you still can't use real robots. So it's important to me that people understand the difference between fiction and reality, I guess. They'll learn what you can really do with robots. They'll learn what they shouldn't be afraid of. They'll come away understanding how difficult it is to do robotics. But what really interesting and useful things we could do with robots in ordinary human environments, not battle robots or industrial robots, but things that you would encounter and use and interact with every day. A vision of the future in many ways. It's not tomorrow's experience. There'll be some little niche applications. And anyway, they get to see some robots, because I'm going to bring some.